Well, I had hoped to be at uh, Westminster Abbey today to mark this very, very uh, important day. But obviously, in present circumstances, uh, that is not possible. We face a different crisis, a health crisis. And that is why I'm locked down uh, here in the um, Isle of Wight. But I remember back to VE Day. I remember the evening, I remember the bonfire at the bottom of our road, our avenue. Um, I remember the guy that was built and I remember the tin hat which was made into Hitler's face and the paint coming off it as the heat uh, got to it. So memories of that day I, are very, even now I can uh, bring them back. But of course what I also remember is the war itself. I was only seven when the war actually ended. But I'd spent, I suppose, my formative years, most of my <laughs> years, in fact, uh, living under a Morrison table. It was a big um, steel structure, and it was meant to take the whole weight um, of a house if it was hit by a bomb and collapsed. Fortunately, that never happened to us, although we had a number of near misses, and we, I, the, it seemed to me perpetually our ceilings were coming down because of uh, uh, bombs. You see, we were, we were fir first of all semi-industrial, perhaps more than semi, uh, and therefore a target. And we were also on the way to London, on the way to the East End, on the way uh, to the docks. And I remember being taken out and seeing um, the V2 uh, rocket sort of uh, going past high in, high in the sky. So those are some of the memories I have um, of, uh, of that time. But the real memory which still comes through to me is of the American servicemen. They were at an Air Force base nearby in Bourne and they came into the town, obviously from uh, time to time. And they all seemed immensely old to me, but of course they were 19, 20, 21. And these were brave men who went up in their bombers, went over to Germany to uh, bomb. Um, and of course, the casualty rate for them uh, was extraordinarily high. They were brave men a long, long way from home. So I remember them in particular uh, uh, today. But I think what one needs to remember also is that uh, it's not just a time for looking back. It's also a time for looking forward. I mean, that period was very important. In 1944, just before the war ended, we had the 1944 Education Act. For people like me, that was crucial. It gave us the opportunity, opportunity uh, not only go to the grammar schools and the rest, but also uh, to go to university. And then we had, of course, the National Health Service. I spent five years, as uh, six years, as uh, a health secretary. Uh, but more than that, I was entirely dependent upon the National Health Service uh, for uh, all of my um, childhood uh, up to university and, of course, be beyond. So there were very important changes uh, that took place. And I suppose if there is one lesson from that, it is, if you look at the position today, it's a different crisis. It's a different uh, kind of issue altogether. But we might just look at it as a new start in the sense that the nation has shown that it can come together and how we manage to achieve this in the years going forward.